What's going on YouTube welcome back to another video. So guys today the bottom dollar bounties DLC was released for GT Online and with this DLC we also got a new business the bail office. So today we're going to take a look at all the five possible locations for the bail office and of course I will also tell you guys which ones I recommend. So first of all if you go to Maze Bank foreclosure if you select bail office at the top you can see the five locations first up we have the one in Paletto Bay 1.65 million this is the cheapest one just like with many other businesses Del Perro 2.3 mil Davis 2 million then we have Mission Road this is the one from the trailer almost 2.4 mil and then the most expensive one downtown Vinewood all of these offices by the way earn exactly the same amount of money so that's not different just like any other business in GTA by the way. The inside as far as I've seen is also the same so it's only the location on the map and the building that will be different. So let's take a look at the five locations. First of all downtown Vinewood the most expensive one 2.6 million. The front looks like this so that's the front entrance and then for the garage entrance you have to go to the back. You also have a parking space over here so let's say if you want to land with a helicopter you do have quite a lot of space over here so that will be easy. It's not very close to a highway but still a pretty decent and good location in my opinion. Then we have Mission Row, the one from the trailer also on a corner of two streets. Uh, the entrance and the uh, garage entrance are basically both on the street side so that's pretty easy. Over here you also have a bunch of space where you can land a helicopter. So again, I would say a pretty good location. Also uh, very close to the highway. So that's of course also a plus point. Then we have the Del Perro location. Again, close to a highway. But the building itself, so the entrance, as you guys can see, you have to go through a alley. So it's not that accessible. Also not so easy to land a helicopter between these buildings. So personally, I wouldn't really recommend this location. Especially because it's 2.3 million. It's kind of the same price as the Mission Row one. So in my opinion, this location is not that interesting. The fourth location is the Davis location, 2 million. So already 300k cheaper than the previous two and 600k cheaper than the first one. The front entrance or the main entrance is on the street, which is all right. The garage entrance is in the back. It's not so hard to get there. But if we look at the first two, those were much easier. Also, it's not very close to a highway. So again, not really a location I recommend, although it's cheaper. So if you're kind of short on money, it's still a good location. The only thing is the garage entrance and maybe not so much space for a helicopter to land. But to be honest, this is not necessary to run this business. Then the last location in Paletto Bay. Uh, the thing with Paletto Bay is always just that it's too far from the city. Uh, then, of course, you have to look at the business itself where the missions take place. And most of the time it's in the Vinewood Hills kind of area or the Blaine County area which is close to the city. And then of course Paletto Bay is not that nearby. So this is of course also important besides just the accessibility of the uh, building itself. So Grand Sonora Desert, Vinewood Hills, this area most of the time so far. I've not played a lot of missions yet because it's still the first day. But I've noticed that this area is the main area where you will get the bounties. So Paletto Bay, I wouldn't really recommend it. So the ones that I do recommend is the downtown Vinewood one and then also the Mission Row one. Depending on how much money you want to spend, the difference is only 200, 300k, something like this. So it's not that much, but it's kind of a choice that you have to make yourself. I have the Mission Row one. Both locations, in my opinion, are good. If you want to save a bit more money, then the Davis location is also good. The Del Perro location, in my opinion, it's no good. So this one I wouldn't really get together with the Paletto Bay one. So guys, that's pretty much it. I hope this video helped. Let me know what you guys think about the new business. More videos coming up very soon. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out the Discord in the description. And peace out, you guys.